like, yeah, some advice I could give. If you've been told all your life to do something, fucking do it. Don't wait until you're in your thirties. I got them twenties and fifties. Got them twenties and fifties. Got them twenties and fifties. I got them twenties and fifties. 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 I got them twenties and fifties. I got them twenties. Fifty Madam and Pippany, aka Big Fitz. I'm from Whangarei, born and bred. I'm a rapper and I'm the CEO of Drug Fuck Records. Um, well, oh fuck, I had a complicated upbringing. I was brought up as a Joe's Witness, so um, yeah, like I went and brought the Californication album off Red Hot Chili Peppers back in the days, and even like I took it home and Dad has Dad just seen the you know Californication on the CD album, bro, and he chucked it in the rubbish. It was like pretty, yeah. It was pretty hard for me. I had to like sneak, sneak in, um, sneak and listen to like Dr. J 2001, bro. Like the quiet ass, listening to the Ghetto Blaster in my room, bro. My dad was a strict cunt, but um, I've always loved music. My first, um, actually before I hit my teens, I was into heavy metal, like like Corn, cool Slipknot, fucking like, all that shit. I went to a white school. So yeah, I was the only, one of the only Maldives in my class, and yeah, always, always love music bro, you get to do the drunken raps, blah blah, I've always had a passion for it, I've always been like, ever since I was a, ever since I was a young guy, everybody told me that I, I, I had a gift in like, yeah, rapping and shit, but I never done anything about it bro, just too busy doing it. Oh, just being a sheep, basically, bro. Like, just following people that I shouldn't have followed all my life, and yeah. And now I'm in my thirties. I decide to do something about it. Throw the south ciggies to all the fucking beans, and I don't condone my life on any type of human being. But I was brought up being caught up loving the double G. Yeah. I, 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 I like basically turned a blind eye to New Zealand hip hop until I wanted to be an artist and then not, I've noticed there's so much talent in, in New Zealand and whatever I can do to put, you know, help out and put New Zealand on the map plus my town, just trying to inspire other people to do what, you know, just to make music, do what they love and basically get a job, stay out of prison, blah, blah. I'm working on my drug fuck label at the moment. Um, yeah, like, yeah, everybody's on drugs. Like, I ain't sugarcating shit. Like, yeah, even pharmacy, bro, you know, everybody's doing it. I'm just an honest person. <laughs> Everybody that knows me, bro, you know I'm pretty honest about everything. And, um, yes, and I'm working on a clothing line. I should be um, dropping my drug fuck label in a few, a uh, few tracks before summer or by summer and then work on the clothing label after that but yeah stay tuned dub ht for life run of iron yeah i just i just want to just keep you know just make music and inspire and try and well, like if I can make money from doing this shit, why not set my daughter up for life, blah, blah, blah. I'm a hustler. Ask about me. Bro, you'll find me in Whangarei, bro. Um, <laughs> catch me outside. Hey, don't catch me outside, G. Um, but yeah, bro, big ups to Butter Sticks, Hula, Hula Productions for helping me with like everything that I'm going to be doing. Kenny Slade for, you know, being a mentor and teaching, you know, just teaching me shit. Like, yeah, Kenny, Kenny actually taught me how to record. I didn't even know how to record, like, on a beat or anything. So, yeah. shout out to Kenny and shout out to the Dub HG and Round of Wine. I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> <laughs> We can, we can cut it out. <laughs>